if they had the language skills, let's say, would be able to get their articles published. And so one of the challenges facing universities in Indonesia is to help develop the academic writing skills of lecturers to enable them to either translate or write their, their articles in English and, and get those articles accepted and, and published. I have picked up some information and some understanding about the context of Indonesian universities and I can see that we have one thing in common which is the goal of advancing in English teaching. I've listened to many people talking about the passion, the desire and the plan to improve their English teaching with different types of students. Well, I, I believe that Vietnam also wants to do the same thing. And that is what I see as the things in common between us. prestige and merit, uh, especially for global recognition to make impact in research work and also for, uh, especially for the institution, it will be supporting the internationalization for the world rank yeah, uh, for the university and then also the quantity and quality is a key measure for productivity and as shown by their track records. Then to be hired, to get promoted, and to be a resource person such as uh, invited speakers or reviewer of the journals, and also uh, to expand the networking internationally. One of the things that I've noticed in Indonesia is that it, it appears to me, or it seems to me, that the number of uh, hours dedicated to English language within most university programs is quite low, especially when we compare the number of hours dedicated to English in other countries in the ASEAN region, for example. In Malaysia, uh, a lot more focus and attention is given to developing English language skills of university students. I think that uh, all students would benefit from uh, English for academic purposes support during their degree program. Um, another thing I'd like to say is that the students are no longer only learning in class with their lecturers in a traditional way. There are a lot more sources available for learning. A lot of them are online. I think uh, Indonesia is one of the uh, leading countries in the world of use of technology and social media. And I think that we can help develop um, uh, our lecturers and teachers in Indonesia to make better use of these digital resources to assist with their teaching. Mm -hmm.